Hi everybody. I'm working on a few altered playing cards today. Um, these are my old, old, old made cards, probably from the 80s. That's what I've been working on um, throughout this whole deck, has been these. And I'm just starting with some papers. I've kind of laid out how I want to put these. So, I just cut a piece of tea dyed paper the size of the card, and I'm just going to start there and build my collage on here. But first, I want to kind of bring my papers all together in terms of color. So, I'm using quinacridone, Nicolazo gold fluid acrylic and I'm just going to put a little drop on my mat. Doesn't take much. It'll come out of the bottle and just give it a whole lot of water. And I'm just going to kind of drag my pieces through it. Dip them in. They don't have to be completely covered. I'll dry them. And modeled is okay. I just have bits and pieces that I thought would look good together. That one doesn't really need it. I'll leave that alone. I hit the edges of this one so that the edges are a bit darker. And then I'm just going to run my finger over it, kind of spread it out like that. And I'll do the same thing with this one. We'll just leave it kind of mottled because it was already close to the color I wanted it to be. So I'm going to dry these and then I will arrange these smaller pieces on here and then put it on the card. I'll be right back. Okay, my pieces are pretty dry. I'm just going to use fluid matte medium and Put the smaller pieces on this larger piece, like that way. Last one. Do I want this on here? That was supposed to be tucked underneath. I'm going to leave it off. I've got bits and pieces everywhere. Of course, every time you go to hit something with the dryer, it flies away. Okay. So I'm going to put some matte gel medium. I need a bigger brush. I'll just put that on the card. And some on the back of my paper. Press out the air. No. 
Let me see, it shifted here, but that's okay. And just trim it off. I don't think I'm going to lose anything important. And there we go. So there, that's where I'm at so far. And I'm going to go around the edges with my black archival ink. Get rid of some of the white. That's sticking out. Start the aging process. And then I'm going to, I have this Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous stamp called Photograph. I'm just going to grab bits of it. Um, maybe some of this text right here. And the clock. That's enough. Enough of that. And that's archival ink, so that is permanent. And then I have my Stabilo All Pencil. And I'm going to add a little more darkness around the picture of the man. And maybe underneath the words. And just take a small brush and activate that. Bring on the grunge. is where I can also just take what's left in the brush and fill in any little white spots that I still have on my edges. And then I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and just do a little bit of stitching. So I'll be back and show you that. Okay, I have a love-hate relationship with my sewing machine. It's just one of those little cheapy machines that I bought just for some paper. But evidently it didn't like something on here wherever I started and my top thread broke. And I usually have to ask my son to come and re-thread my machine because I can't see the needle, the hole in the needle to get it threaded. And I've tried everything thread needle threaders and yada yada and I just can't see well enough even though I have my contact in and Doc says you know I can see really good it seems like when I'm there I see really good but whatever anyways um yeah so I got that far and the thread broke so I just drew the stitching the rest of the way around with a pit pen and these are two that I made earlier. I'm going to add some th little threads on to a couple of these. These I was able to get actual sewing around, <laughs> around those. And then I added the eyelets. So I am just going to use some gel medium and mush some of this black thread onto here. 
just for a little more texture and interest. And that medium will dry clear. If I can get it where I want it. There. And some on this one. I also just put little fabric scraps on each one of these. I'll show you in a sec. Stick to your fingers and then ends up not where you want it. There, I'm just going to let that be and let it dry. So, yeah. So I put just little pieces of fabric. Poke it out one on this one. So I'll have some close-up stills of each of these at the end, but I had fun doing them. It's been a while since I did any of the altered playing cards, so I'm just going to dry this, and I'll take some pictures, and I'll show them to you at the end. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed seeing my altered playing cards. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share it out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, it'd be great if you did that. And ring my bell so that you get notified when I upload new videos. And in the meantime, go make some art. Bye!